there thanks again for joining in and um, today I'm in the Airbus A320 as I always am um, there's Dubai right there just coming across the Palm Islands uh, you can see the Hotel Atlantis right at the edge uh, of the Palm there's uh, the Burj Al Arab right over there world's most expensive hotel I think uh, Dubai Marina with the famous Jumeirah Beach right over there and there's the Palm Jabal Ali in the distance so and and a whole lot of beautiful desert <laughs> as far as your eyes can see and I'm right now pretty much over the Arabian Sea um, so that's a little tour of Dubai for you now that you've seen it let's get on to it um, we had a uh, request from uh, one of our from uh, one of our wonderful subscribers and he was asking if we could uh, do a, a full auto land in the Airbus A320 which is not uncommon because like if, if the weather is like really bad, ILS conditions, visibility is really low and provided that the aircraft, the pilots and the airport are all certified through the high category um, low visibility conditions, CAT1, CAT2, CAT3, CAT3 Alpha, CAT3 Bravo and so on, then you are allowed to do a, a full auto land, alright, but you do have to meet those, uh, you, you know, both aircraft, airport and pilot all have to meet uh, the required uh, uh, those requirements uh, to do that which I am so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to program in a ILS uh, to runway one to right uh, for a full uh, for a full auto land procedure so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go head over to the chart we're gonna look at the chart study the chart and then we're going to come back here into the cockpit program it into the box because I haven't programmed anything I'm just flying basically heading and altitude here so uh, selected selected and um, yeah program it into the box and then carry out the approach this is not going to be a very long video I promise uh, but yeah let's uh, let's get right into it shall we hey ILS approach into Dubai International Airport so let's come over to Navigraph airports and I've got Dubai right here if you don't have it just type Oscar Mike Delta Bravo and bring up the chart we're going to approaches and we're going to take the ILS for runway 12 right let's do the cat 2 cat 3 ILS for runway 12 right okay I'm going to choose that because it would be in these conditions that we would actually do an auto land so that's why this makes more sense to me all right looking at the chart here we go and so I'm referring for just for reference I'm referring to plate number 11-2 alpha um, effective from the 22nd of July uh, 2022 it's a cat 2 and 3 ILS for runway 1 to right the um, frequency for the runway is 109.5 and it's identified as India Delta Bravo Echo something we will check later final course is 119 degrees uh, it's a mandatory final approach fix altitude of 3,000 feet by Delta Bravo 657 and with reference for the minimums uh, for Cat 3B, Cat 3A and 2 ILS we've got to refer to the minimum chart which is at the bottom of this plate Al the airport elevation is 62 feet with the runway elevation of 11 feet now we are in this region over here near the world islands and stuff so the MSA for that area will be 3,800. We're currently at 5,000, so we're okay. So as you can see, the approach starts at pet off. Pet off, you gotta be 3,000 feet. By the time you reach Delta Bravo 657, which is our final approach fix, it's mandatory that we be there, uh, be 3,000 feet by this point, okay? And as we come down we can see that this is a three degree descent those are the speeds according to the uh, that's the descent rate as per the speeds and um, we've got the an airport which is equipped with high intensity lights and pappies on both sides all right and then it's a direct to do delta bravo 614 in case of go around so let's say i'm going to do a cat 3b okay cat 3b ils um which has no minimums whatsoever okay so that's why it's it's blank over there if you're doing cat 2 ILS uh, for the category of aircrafts that's would be that would be your decision height if it's a cat 3 alpha this will be your decision height but I'm gonna do a cat 3 Bravo ILS alright so I don't have to program 
any uh, minimums into into the box so that's uh, that's pretty much the approach we're gonna do and final part of the briefing would be uh, in case of missed approach climb straight ahead uh, sorry climb direct to Delta Bravo 614 then on track uh, 134 degrees to Delta Bravo 655 at 4,000 feet then turn left on track to 044 degrees to Taltu which is right over there and hold that 4,000 feet all right so um, I pretty much know what to do let's go back into the cockpit and let's program this into the box and let's uh, shoot this approach all right see you there okay uh, now that we've done the briefing let's uh, and we've discussed the plate uh, let's let's get the approach going before I go any further I just want to enter into uh, hold at the present position so I'm just gonna put myself into a hold where I am so I can uh, have some time so insert and I'm gonna go nav and there we go we're in the hold now speed all constraint nav maintaining 5,000 feet for now okay now I just want to program it into the box so on the init page you obviously want to make sure Dubai is your destination and when you come to the flight plan page as you can see right there Dubai is very much our destination so we're gonna go select Dubai arrival and I'm gonna go with ILS 1 to right select ILS 1 to right and this is going to be pretty much a straight in approach so no stars and no vias so ILS 1 to right no stars no transitions insert okay now as we come down to the as you as you come scrolling down on the flat plan page if you go to plan mode you can see there we go starts at ped off and then we've got um, Delta Bravo 657 with the constraints already in there. So the aircraft knows exactly what the constraints are and the mandatory altitudes. So that's looking good. And so once I've done that, to program an approach, there's a thing called a hat, all right? So we start with the flight plan page, then we go to the rad nav page, okay? Now we wanna check the ILS frequency is 109.5, Looking at the chart, it is 109.5, India Delta Bravo Echo, India Delta Bravo Echo, and if I bring up the landing screens, the ILS information, there it is as well, India Delta Bravo Echo, 109.5, and we're just about 15 miles away. Cool. All right, so we come from flight plan to RADNAV, then we come to the progress page. Let's put Oscar Mike Delta Bravo, one, two, right in there. And we've got GPS primary high, all looking good. Then we come to the performance page. And in the performance page, on the approach page, we have to fill in all the details. So, well, 1009 uh, for the QNH, 33 degrees is our temperature today, winds are 120 at 2 knots, and transition 130. Our approach speed is going to be 139. -er. And lastly, it's going to be for the radio altimeter so because we have no minimums and on the radio altimeter you can put no okay which means look now here no decision height just as the chart says so yeah uh, that's pretty much how you do that okay you put no for no decision height in the radio altimeter and everything's good to go so we've done flight plan right now progress performance now we come down to fuel prediction. Fuel's looking good. Uh, landing weight's gonna be 64.5 tons. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And then finally, secondary flight plan, copy active. So that's what we call the hat when you're doing an approach because it looks like you're making the shape of a hat on the MCDU, all right? You start at the flight plan, pick your approach, then you go to RADNAV, check all the, check all the details that they're relevant to your flight, uh, then you go to progress, check your GPS and all that kind of stuff. Performance, fill in all the details as required on the approach page. And then fuel prediction, secondary flight plan, copy active. And that's how you do that. So now that we're ready for the approach, I'm gonna leave the hold by going direct to, I wanna go straight to pedoff, select pedoff and press insert. 
the aircraft is now back in nav mode and if I come to arc you can see I'll go to nav actually and I'll zoom out a little bit and there we go we're making the turn we're heading straight for bed off now I'm about 30 track miles away from touchdown so let's start getting down there so put in 3,000 feet over here and push we've got descent alt aircraft knows exactly what to do and once we get to about uh, 15 track miles I am going to activate the approach phase and then arm the localizing glide slope as well so I'm gonna get back to you once we uh, once we get closer uh, to about 15 miles and then we're gonna start configuring the aircraft and doing this approach uh, I'll actually get back to you once we're getting closer to paid off all right cool see you soon a few moments later Alrighty, we're back in the in the approach. As you can see, there's a low layer of fog um, just right beneath us, and this fog layer goes all the way down to the runway. So this is going to be, as as stated, a fully automated landing, which means I do not touch the controls. So no controls for me. I'm going to let the airplane do all the approach and landing. In fact, all right. So what's going to happen is now we're approaching pad off 3,000 feet. And uh, since we are right now less than 15 track miles away from the runway, I've activated the approach phase and it's time to start configuring. So let's go speed check and flaps one selected. And as we start the turn, we're gonna arm the approach, which pushing this will arm the localizer and glide slope and turn on the second autopilot. It's gonna give us lock star because we just captured the localizer glide slow blue autopilot one plus two cat three dual so the aircraft is in the mode that it needs to be to safely do this approach so yeah looking good so far and uh, one thing I forgot to mention in my briefing is we're going to be using low auto brakes today because uh, it is Dubai International Airport uh, they got a lovely long runway so no worries there okay we've got lock and we've got glide slope star so we're gonna go flaps two it's gonna help us start slowing down the airplane and as the aircraft starts its descent flaps are now at two we're pretty much on glide slope good time to get landing gear down and if the speed is right we can select flaps three so we're gonna go with flaps three on the speed brake lights on cabin crew be seated for landing and I'm gonna set the go around altitude now to 4000 because I'm already established on the glide slope. So go around altitude is set. The aircraft is following the uh, glide slope, localizer right down the middle. Perfect, all systems are good. We got flaps three. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna wait for 2000 feet and then I'm gonna go flaps full followed by the landing checklist. So here we go, just watching that look at that and you can actually see the tip of Burj Khalifa I don't know if you can make it out there right over right over there there is the tip of Burj Khalifa <laughs> sticking right out of the clouds I hope you saw that but yeah okay we got 2000 flaps full landing checklist is coming up all right landing checklist Landing checklist, ECAM memo should be landing no blue. We've got ECAM memo, landing no blue items. So if something was not done, like for example, if the seatbelt signs were off, there'll be a blue item. So since I got everything, landing no blue, landing checklist complete. Aircraft is doing its job. We're descending into the soup, right into the clouds. So yeah, we're just basically monitoring things now. Uh, all we gotta do actually right now is just watch and let the aircraft do its stuff all I've I've done everything that I could do I've got the flaps fully configured speed brakes armed auto brakes are set landing gears down completed my relevant checklists uh, everything's everything's done all I have to do is when it says retard I just have to retard the engines and engage full reverses and the aircraft will maintain center line and everything for me I can kind of sort of see the ground but I don't think I'm gonna see the runway anyway that's why we have the eyeless and auto land because what I can see the aircraft can it's got all the data it needs to land safely so yeah I'm just gonna 
trust my instruments and uh, let this airplane do its job so yeah let's just uh, let's just watch and see shall we and this is very normal if you do come to Dubai you will notice that during our winters um, heavy fog like this in, in the early morning hours are perfectly normal okay I can see the airport what looks like runway one two left in the distance uh, but the visibility is not so great okay we've got land on the FMA keeping my hands and feet ready okay there's 200 okay I can kind of see a runway Okay, it's gonna go into a flare point. Here we go. The aircraft is flaring. It says retard. Retard the engines. The aircraft has touched down. And engage full reversers. We've got spoilers. Reversers green. And decel on the auto brakes. The aircraft is maintaining center line and decelerating. And as you can see, the autopilot is still on. I'm not doing anything. Hands and feet are off the controls. 60 knots idle reverse I'll just let the auto brake experience do a full stop okay taxi speeds now so full idle and there you go autopilot is still on <laughs> so I'm just gonna let the air uh, aircraft come to a full stop and then uh, yeah I can disengage the autopilot and taxi over and uh, go park um, somewhere close to duty free <laughs> and there we go the aircraft has come to a full stop I'm gonna set the parking brake and that my friends is how you do a full auto land basically program it um, and just let the aircraft do its job provided you programmed it and you selected everything in the in the right order and um, there should be no reason why this aircraft uh, can't bring you in for a perfectly safe landing in an uh, in a low visibility situation so that's how you do a full auto land hope you found the uh, video uh, useful and and hope you liked it if you did Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, keep those uh, comments and suggestions coming. And uh, we'll be happy to make another video as per your requests. Thank you so much and um, have a wonderful day.